Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Raycon. Today's been a real struggle bus of a day for me. Somehow I left my Raycon earbuds at home and driving down the road in the toter for 14 hours. We're finally in Texas. I got 186 cords laid across my computer. I had to use my cheap corded headphones. Jack stands freaking hitting every pothole on the interstate. Every single one. And my traditional headphones are falling out of my ears and I'm really missing my Raycons today. As you guys know, Raycon makes high quality wireless Bluetooth earbuds. Not only do they look and sound amazing, the price is unbeatable. The earbuds have eight hours of playtime and a 32 hour battery life with the charging case. Not only does the charging case protect them, it also charges the earbuds. One thing I really like about the Raycon earbuds is those gel tips that lock them in my ear, whether I'm working out, cruising down the road, riding in an airplane, they never shake out of my head. And today guys, Raycon is offering you guys 15% off by just visiting by raycon.com slash Cletus McFarlane. The link is in the description below. I'm really missing mine right now. Probably gonna have to get a second pair and just leave them in the toter home. But thanks to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. Let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Cletus McFarlane YouTube channel. We got mullet out here this morning. Sam drinking his morning Coke. We had a big backfire yesterday on the one two shift. The car spun and hit limiter and backfired. So I'm gonna pull the valve covers and check the valves real quick and make sure they're lashed out the same. Make sure we didn't hurt anything. All right, we got her buttoned all up. Valves were good. So we got her fueled up, check the oil trans fluid, getting tire pressures ready. We got about 20 minutes and we should be able to put it in the staging lanes and see what it'll do. Sam, you couldn't help yourself? <laughs> gotta get make it happen all right guys it's a new day we got round two and three qualifying today we got the cars ready we checked the valve lash on mullet all's good we just gotta try to not spin them tires today should be no problem we tamed her up a little bit but you know a couple cars went sixes last night so we really gotta Shut get back to Vic. that spot Vic yeah our boy victor last, went a six in the supra that other guy went a 701. The way it's shaping up, Ruby's gonna have to really go about an 80 to stay in the slower class. We're gonna lift the, the, the 16th qualifier right now is an 809. So we really want Ruby in the second fastest class. Alrighty guys, heading up to round one. Hoping we can make a good lick. Twins are only qualifying they're running way behind with a bunch of uh
we still qualify in the fast class. Dude, left like a rocket. I mean, that was way faster than I thought they wanted it to be. That was badass. But it did not sound good up top. Oh, the engine did. Well, I was, you know, trans brake. Yeah. Floored it. I was building boost. Everything was good. It was on the two step. It did the poop cough thing again. And then it, it you know, started building boost again. I went to go bump in. The second one to go bump in, it just went boom. So I just shut it off. Oh, something so in, something in the drive line broke? Yeah. Ah, oh, damn. I mean, this is in park right now. Don't so potentially park. axles or potentially. Uh, yeah, I think it might the be the drive shaft. Thing. Yeah. Well, hunt it down if it's not the axles. Not the axles. You can see the RPMs were unhappy up high. I really tried to stay in it to the eighth, but. It was riding good, dude. Yeah, it left good. Did Looks like get... it was losing the bank on my right yeah. side. Okay. Did you get a slip or no? Yeah. What did it 60 foot? 121. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's no, pretty good. Let me get the slip. Yeah, 121, 60 foot, 104, 73 in the eighth, 153. But I was out of it right before the eighth, I think. Yeah. So let's figure out. Pull up the EGTs. It's yeah, gotta be I was one trying of those. to look at uh, fuel pressure because it looked, I mean, it was really, really lean. See the guy went 208 next to me? Yeah. Sucks. He went, that dude, been a look good at run. his run and still went 208. Dude, that guy's got some horsepower. <laughs> Jesus. He's got some horsepower. Look at his back half. I mean, dude, we were, I mean, that's heat of the day, dude. I would have done exactly what I was wanting yeah. to do. He went, went 50 miles on the back half. Yeah. Yeah, that would have went 720 for sure. Yeah. All right, let's figure this out. All right, guys, we figured it out. We had uh, real low fuel pressure. Dude, good thing I got out of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> I'm willing to bet the source is off of the uh, fuel pressure regulator. Now it's right here. It's on there. This one came out, guys. So this uh, this is what gives our fuel pressure regulator its source so that I can up the fuel pressure with boost. And it came off, so we did not have enough fuel pressure to make the run. What's the deal, dude? So it either broke the input on the trans, 
trans itself or the pinion on the diff. Damn. Somewhere along those lines. Converter still spins with the starter, so it's not the torque tube. Axle Something. still spin the diff. Damn. We've Something. never ever broken that trans and diff. Just like neighbor, it owes us nothing. Oh, it owed me so something long. this weekend, though. <laughs> Guys, we got super lean on that. If I stayed in it any longer, I mean, it very well could have just... I mean, it would have exploded. Uh, you, yeah. We would have melted through, pistons. Pull through pistons. So we're going to check all the plugs, but you can see the fuel pressure never rose. It's this pink line. It never rose. Like, if you make 40 pounds of boost, then it would have been 100 yeah, PSI of fuel pressure, but it only made 60 PSI of fuel pressure because that source was off. Yeah, yesterday, all these little things, man. Yesterday in our little 100 foot rip, we, we were 106 or 107 PSI fuel yeah. pressure. So that's one of the things you tune for in the map is your fuel pressure is higher. So yeah. that's, that's how your yeah, map is too. There's so many things going on with these freaking cars. So we got that fixed and I mean, the tune up worked. So we know at least we got to go yeah, out pretty far. Day, dude. We went 120, 160. So we left on 12. 12. 12 PSI. So, dude, it's locked down at 12. 12 pounds and about 3,800. I mean, it was riding out good. So. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. And then it ran out of fuel pressure. Until, yeah. So. At least we got that data. That's all that really matters. Yeah, we got a heat of the day tune up. We can work off that a little bit, a little bit in the middle, a little bit here and there. That ramp yeah. was pretty soft. Do you know if that too. car that went a 7.0 went down? Uh, I don't know. I just saw him go by. All right, so you guys remember that issue we had with Ruby the other day? It blew right past the two-step, didn't ever turn on. All right, guys, so the gist of everything that happened here is the guy in the left lane double bolt jack stand. So jack stand pulls in kind of hears the other guy popping and banging and when james went to bump in ruby was making 6200 rpm 28 pounds of boost and when he hit the bump button it just exploded the transmission so just a combination of a bunch of bs happening like the reason ruby's two-step didn't turn on is because some wire failed in between the trans brake button and the computer so the two-step didn't turn on she just blew through the converter made a ton of boost and just wreck the transmission. So it's just, I mean, you literally can't make that up. <laughs> it's just like hey, a little it's series of unfortunate events. It's all, all we can say is you're done. Yeah. You're done. We should have brought Team Wheelie good. At least we put a show on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone liked when we did wheelies yeah. and still made passes. Yeah. But all right, we got it. We got to make we, something dude, happen with the was on a pass though. I don't, I don't know uh, what it is with this. I, and I don't want to tell you guys that, like, I we do suck sometimes and this stuff happens, but, like, this these struggles happen to everybody. It just seems to always happen to us <laughs> when we're on race day. Like, we tested the car, made it go down, perfect, 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 done, boom, we're good to go. And then we come to the track and face problems and destroy we, we made, the transmission. We made one, like, decent change with the gear change, but we just solve that we went down and then we end up with a one vacuum line just just hanging this out much not connected and had a board so run. stupid dude. hopefully the plugs are good and we can uh, continue yeah. on so once the it cools off we'll take a look at the plugs and then we'll hope that we can make another run today i was just sitting over there thinking you know what caused this right didn't test our two-step Right. We did not get up this morning and, and test either of our two steps. All that waiting around and we didn't test a single two step. You Damn it, it literally had, got us again. It got both of us. I know, it got us both. You would have known you had no fuel pressure, I would have known I didn't have a two step. Son of a biscuit. Our own rule and we break it every day. Oh, brother. Look at that, Sam. You got there you a power is. glide. Ah, not the input. That sucks. Output maybe? Oh, look at that. Hold on. Let me see that. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's got good. that left that edge. That's right. our problem right here. This, yeah, we broke stay with the diff. That's supposed to be a pinion. What is that? The pinion. Look at it broke right there. Oh. Completely. We need a gear set, like a nine inch gear set. Damn, we only have a nine and a half inch gear set here. Damn, wow, transmission strong, dude, frick. The trans said I got this. Yeah, holy. Oh. Pinion said not today. All right, so we need a pinion. We need a gear set. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, we, we need to change the gear, because we, if we can get like a 360 gear. Get that trans guy, you might have everything. All right. It's not uncommon for trans, gotta have a stuff. Yeah. So guys, we're back at Exxon Racing Transmissions where they fixed the mystery machine trans. 
a little while back and uh, we got the nine inch up here on the diff. I got the nine inch up here on the table, as you can see, broken pinion. Whole, whole crew over here, get they're it right. They're robbing parts from their own stuff to give to us. Yeah, they're, they're taking care of us here. Back racing a rude before you know it. We do got some units up in here though, look at that. Steve Morrison, blown big block and dragster, equipped with Holly and Rife. Motion sticker over there hiding on that truck. These guys know the deal. Test your two-step. Always test your two-step. Two hey, we got a thing where we say always test your two-step before you run. Got to. Now it's tested. So now I need to come and dance. Yeah. Two-step. Nah, no, now it's dialed in. Now it's dialed we're in. We're perfect. Yeah, we're good. Twelve pounds of booze. Good. Your legs are doing about six hundred RPM. You know, it's perfect. <laughs> All right, so we got everything on the bench cleaned up here. Going back together. Got to do some clearancing. Get the clearance right for the uh, new gear. A little bit bigger diameter ring gear being that it's a lower gear number gear set all right so guys i come to you with some bad news it is sunday now race day i'm just finishing up this edit and we just got the news that ruby cannot race today because we didn't get qualified you know we came here expecting to get our four qualifiers and because there's been so many wrecks like these gtrs and r8s and lambos have been wrecking like crazy and now we only got two qualifiers. We did not get another qualifier last night, which is super unfortunate. We would have had Ruby in ready to go. Wouldn't have been an issue. We figured everything out. We would have gone down, but we qualified with a 10-6 from James first pass and we didn't get another shot at it. So now Ruby cannot race. She did not qualify today, which sucks. Really sucks. However, on the bright side, the Elko is qualified 10th in the fastest class of the streetcar class. But we know we have a tune up that will go down. So we're going to get the car ready, we're going to take the lanes, and we're going to focus on Elko and hopefully get a win today. So we'll report back to you tomorrow. Thanks for watching Do It For Dale. We will freaking see you later.